Well, tonight we are learning that law enforcement believes 13-year-old James Yablonski is alive in the rural woods of Sauk County. They have discovered multiple campsites and items believed to be his, leading them to believe he's set out on a survivalist trip. Arman Rahman is live in Sauk County with the latest from day five of the search. Arman? Yes, yeah, Charlotte, a lieutenant with the Sauk County Sheriff's Office tells me that yesterday a campsite was found in the Baxter's Hollow area of the Baraboo Bluffs. So today they're concentrating their search here in this part of the bluffs near Stones Pocket Road. And as you can see, the terrain is very rough, rocky and dense for miles, proving very difficult for crews on the ground. At least two officers have had to go to the hospital for injuries. But the Sheriff's Office is actually scaling some of their officers on foot back and using trail cameras, Black Hawk helicopters, helicopters and other technology to find James because they're starting to think that he is actually trying to evade them after investigators have found that the teen has expressed an interest in living off the grid and wanting to be a survivalist. We learned that he has made comments or at least talked to some of his fellow students in the past about essentially saying how long do you think I can survive in the woods by myself for? That was something that triggered to us okay, maybe this isn't somebody who's in distress. And crews have found a partially full jug of water, socks, a knife sheath, and other signs of human activity that they've been sending photos of back to James's dad, Bill. And while he hasn't specifically confirmed that these items belong to his son, they acknowledge that they very well could be. And officials have also learned that James is in possession of multiple survivalist books. While they're scaling back, they're not stopping the search and will continue through this weekend. For now, live in Sauk County, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.